Hey my lovely YouTubers, it's me, Morgan Tracy J, coming today with a new YouTube video for my ladies. Today is obviously Fashion Fridays, but today I'm going to mix it up a little bit because first I want to talk to you about body image issues. Honestly, I have had a lot of body image issues in the past. I have had a lot of fears, a lot of doubts, a lot of feelings of unworthiness, a lot of feelings of rejection, and just all these things because of my body image issues. And there was a point in time where I went through a really bad eating disorder. And at that time, I felt so unworthy and so ugly. And I could only be happy if I was skinny. And I could only feel worthy if I looked like a certain way. And so what I want to tell my ladies today is, before we can step into being modestly chic, we need to first address, address these body image issues that plague our minds on the daily. Honestly, the, thing, the, the way you know that you are being attacked by these things is because the thoughts that you say towards yourself when you look in the mirror. The things that you say, you say, oh, I can't go be seen because I don't want anyone to see the weight that I've gained. Oh, I can't go talk to that person. Oh, I can't do that thing because I'm too big. I'm too ugly. You know, in, the, in that nature, a lot of times we start to compare ourselves to others through social media and through the, through the standards of the world. We start to feel unworthy. We start to feel less than. We start to feel like we're only beautiful if we do a certain thing or we look a certain way or our waist is a certain size. And what I want to tell you today is, sweetie, you are far more worth than the size of your waist. You are far more worth than the number on the scale. You are far more worth than anything that this world could ever tell you that you're, considers you Worthy. Your only worth truly comes from God. And so what I had to learn from a previous eating disorder and things of that nature is that if I was depressed, unhappy, um, feeling unworthy and lonely at 190 pounds, just when I lost the weight, I was still that same depressed, lonely, unhappy girl. The weight does not change you. Only the Spirit of God can change you. So don't feel like you can only be happy once you lose that weight. You can only be good and feel good about yourself once you get your teeth fixed. Okay? I know all about those things. And so what I want to tell you is that's not the way God works. He loves you right now through whatever challenges and whatever things that you fall short of. God loves you with any, with every blemish, with anything. God loves you. And so recently, I was given the opportunity to be the body positive model of the Femi Plus magazine. I was so excited about this because I have not always been very positive about my 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 body. I just have it. I haven't always embraced the woman that God created. And so what I want to tell you is I'm doing a seven-day self-love challenge where you shine love on yourself for seven whole days. You get out of the mirror, you get off some, you take off some of the makeup, and you truly just embrace the person that God created. You start to get new eyes for yourself. You start to talk to yourself in better ways. And this seven-day challenge is just going to give you some Bible verses, it's going to give you some prayer ideas, and also it's going to give you some activities to do in just pampering yourself and loving yourself. Because the thing we need to understand is we can't truly go out and love others effectively if we don't love ourselves. It's just love thy neighbor as you love thyself but if you don't love yourself you can't love your neighbor effectively and I have to learn this every single day when I look in the mirror at myself when I see certain things on my body that I don't completely like when I see certain blemishes and things about myself that I'm not completely okay with you know what I have to do I have to love myself and so do you because that's what God has called us to love ourselves and God wants his daughters to know that we are precious we are jewels we are rubies we are so rare we were created to be set apart we are worthy in his sight and so what I want to tell you is don't listen to the people out there. Don't listen to the attacks of the enemy. Don't listen to that depression. Don't listen to those things that tell you you're not enough. But listen to God. Listen to the word of God. God's word is truth and he can revive you. He can He can heal you. He can heal all those dark, deep places that have that spirit of rejection, that has that hurt, that has that unworthiness, that has that depression, has that feeling of I am just not enough and I will never be enough. Yes, God can heal that. He can revive that. So what I need to tell you guys, I love you so much. Be sure to go to hisdaughtercloset.com to get this free downloadable seven-day challenge. This is going to help you so much. I'm putting my faith with yours, and I'm believing that God will give us new eyes for ourselves so we can see exactly what he created. We can see our worthiness through him, not through a friend, not through a man, not through Instagram likes, but only through God. So guys, I love you so much. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you at his daughter's closet. All right? Love you guys so much.